A back injury, fraud accusations, and a fractured home. Brendan Fraser and Afton Smith's divorce took them to hell and back. Took Brendan him to hell Fraser and back. Brendan Fraser was a universally <laughs> beloved actor in the 1990s, making memorable appearances in films like The Mummy and Sino Man and Blast from the Past. He was the star. Sadly, Fraser's oh, career parents. declined in the early 2000s, and only recently has Fraser opened up about the difficulties he faced after losing his mother as well as the fact that he was sexually assaulted by the former president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, Philip Burke. Figures. Fraser explained to GQ, After that, work had withered on the vine for me. In my mind, at least, something had been taken away from me. Yeah, that's how Hollywood is, man. You gotta let him touch your pee-pee. If you don't, there go your movie roles. In addition to these traumatic experiences, Fraser also went through a divorce in the mid-aughts from his wife, Afton Smith. Smith was herself once an actress, having appeared in films like Reality Bites and even George of the Jungle starring Frasier. After leaving acting, Smith went on to become a writer, publishing three books. Together, Frasier and Smith share three children. Brendan Frasier and Afton Smith first announced their divorce in 2007, following nine years of marriage. Their publicist shared in a statement at the time, Brendan Frasier and Afton Smith continue to maintain a close and caring friendship. The divorce was finalized in 2009, and at the time, Frazier agreed to pay $50,000 a month to Smith in spousal support. Yeah, it was more than that. However, in 2013, Frazier sought to have this amended, saying he wasn't earning enough from acting to justify payments of that size. Right. Smith contested this and accused him of fraud, <laughs> saying Frazier did in fact have the requisite income. Jesus. She claimed that Frazier had $9 million in film contracts that he hid from her at the time of their divorce. Frazier also cited medical issues he was facing as another reason why he had difficulty paying this level of spousal support as he suffered a back injury after attempting to clear a tree that fell on his property during Hurricane Sandy. Frazier and Smith share custody of their three children, but they live in Greenwich, Connecticut with Smith, while Frazier today lives in Bedford, New York. Brendan Fraser suffered a long patch of unfortunate circumstances between his messy divorce, medical issues, losing his mom, and coming to grips with his sexual assault. But it seems like his luck has turned around. At the Venice International Film Festival, the actor received okay. a six-minute long... All right, uh, let's go on to uh, how much she's actually asking for his ex-wife. Brendan Fraser to his ex-wife. This is from Yahoo News. I can't afford $900,000 a year in alimony. Okay, 900,000, man. Why not ask for a cool mill, right? Just ask for a million dollars. This guy is not getting the movies he did before. Uh, and that's just how Hollywood goes, right? You're hot. I think Jim Carrey said you're hot for like 10 years. If you really take off, your career really takes off, you've got a window of 10 years, basically a decade, to make as much money as you can, do all the movies you want to do, and just rake it in, right? Because after that, you can be just left out in the cold, forgotten about, like what's happened to his career uh, in the late 2000s, I believe, um, somewhere around there. Because I, yeah, I remember he was big in the 90s. I was in college at the time. And then he started to kind of just not really get roles anymore after the 2000s, right? I mean, I think the last thing I saw him win was The Mummy 2 or something. <laughs> I really haven't watched any of his movies since, you know. So, yeah, he's definitely not making that kind of money. But she wanted $900,000 a year. Not to mention, he hurt his back not only in that Hurricane Sandy thing, but also starring in a lot of these action roles that he did. Like, again, The Mummy. And, you know, he does a lot of physical comedy sometimes. George of the Jungle. Um, so, yeah, that stuff wears on you. And you're just not able to. To make the same income you did this is why i tell you guys all the time and when you're in your you know when you're young you're in your 20s 30s 40s even your 50s that's the time to make as much money as you possibly can because once you start to cross 60 70 especially in your 70s you can't be doing hard labor anymore you can't be putting in the the time and effort like you you can when you're younger why do you think i i'm constantly banging out these coaching videos for you guys and constantly working i already have a lamborghini homes and i buy everything cash and you know and i'm I'm successful I because I don't know what's going to happen in the future, man. What if I have health problems? What if I need 24-7 care? I don't know, but I need to take care of myself, right? You need to take care of yourself. And don't get with the wrong women that want $900,000 a year from you. 
but let's uh, jump into this article, shall we? Uh, he may be the star of a franchise that's ra raked in more than a billion dollars, the mummy, but Brendan Fraser reportedly can no longer afford to pay $900,000 a year per year to his ex-wife. God, why does she need a million bucks a year for doing nothing? Get a job. The Canadian star of The Mummy franchise is attempting to reduce the amount he owes in alimony and child support to his ex-wife, Afton Smith, and his three kids. Frazier is claiming that he does not earn enough to support these payments. Frazier reportedly said in court last week that he has had trouble getting work after 2008's Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, the third film in the Mummy franchise. Yeah, the fact that he did, had to do that part three and that movie, let's face it, I just, the reviews were not good. I never watched it myself. It just didn't appeal to me. I saw, I remember seeing the trailers. I'm like, eh, I think I'll skip this. Uh, so yeah, and he hasn't been getting work since. And then he had that uh, Hollywood mogul, like grab his pee pee, his, grab his Johnson. And it was like, hey, and he told on the guy and then he really, really killed his career because you can't be telling on these Hollywood moguls that want to grope your, you know, grab your Johnson, man. No, can't be telling, man. That's why I just, Hollywood is just a disgusting place. I, I don't, I don't watch movies in theaters anymore, especially Star Wars, which I used to love growing up. I, I have not seen a single one since Revenge of the Sith. Uh, I, I, I can't stand what, like seeing these YouTube videos after every Star Wars of some film critic complaining about, oh my gosh, it was woke again, it was woke again, and everyone in the comments, oh yeah, it was woke again, I'll never do it again. And you guys keep, you idiots keep paying for them, you know, paying for this stuff, knowing that you're not going to get something good. Why do you do that? Uh, it just makes no sense to me. Anyway, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, so Afton Smith, his ex-wife, responded by accusing her 44-year-old husband, well, he was 44 at the time, of fraud for allegedly keeping mum about nine million dollars in uh, film contracts he signed he has since signed since their divorce well that's not your money that's his he didn't perform in these movies yet afton right he has to perform in these movies the former uh brendan frazier reportedly claimed that around the time of his split from afton smith he was making zero dollars, zero, this once famous movie star, zero from future acting work, despite going on to star in films like Journey to the Center of the Earth, um, which raked in $242 million, and Inkheart, which reportedly made $2 billion word worldwide. He later alleged those deals weren't set in stone at the time. I, I believe him, yeah, these deals are never set in stone for like these movies until it's done until the money's in the bank according to celebrity net worth Frazier is currently worth 15 million dollars uh, while his ex's lawyers claim he has assets worth 24.7 million despite this Frazier said in court last week that he has had consider considerable trouble earning as much as before due to a number of undisclosed medical problems he has developed Frazier, and it's just going to get worse for him, right? It's not like his health is going to get better as a 50-year-old man. It's just going to get worse. Frazier and Smith, who wed in 1998, reportedly returned to court this week. This is not the first time Frazier has had to go to court. Okay, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it's just a very ridiculous tale of how, you know, this guy married this woman, like, you know, thinking that he was going to be married forever and then now she wants nine hundred thousand dollars a year in alimony which he can't even, not even afford to pay does she feel sorry for him is she empathetic or compassionate towards him no she's like f you man go out there get that money get that bag and give it to me i mean the ruthlessness of these these women i, I don't see guys doing this to their ex-wives i mean no matter how nasty the split is they're not like yeah, get back up there, you workhorse. Make my money. Make my money. Right? Uh, but, yeah, there's just no empathy here whatsoever. It's it's really sad. But, I mean, he, you know, he didn't need to marry her. I mean, he was Brendan Fraser at in, at the time in the 90s when he, he married her. Uh, women all over the world were in love with him, right? Including my older sister back then, right? Back in the 90s when he was at his, his peak. 
he he could have just chosen a good woman man and um you know yeah, don't marry another actress that's the worst thing you can do and it happened to him happened to kevin costner will uh, you know will smith that uh, you see these guys just get really really pummeled by these women that uh don't respect them don't appreciate them don't admire them right and they're they're very heavily wanted by other women of the world but as always these guys are just very blue pill right they're just very blue pill and they just do too many beta things in their relationship and they never stand their ground in the relationship right they're just afraid like most men today right they are afraid to speak up they are afraid to say anything derogatory towards their woman whenever they are not being treated right i mean i've i have no problem calling my girl out anytime like you know she has acted out in the past i had no problem calling her out back then you know and letting her know like hey knock that off don't talk to me like that you know i'm gonna kick you out of the car you know i mean any of my exes in the past you know that's why they didn't leave they did not leave it was me who was breaking up with them you know and i'm not no hollywood actor or will smith or anybody like that with that fame or fortune you know but i mean we are just basic everyday guys and we're you know we're not having these problems are we <laughs> 900k a year uh insane but as always gentlemen drop your comments below let me know what you think of brendan frazier's uh nine hundred thousand dollar a year alimony support uh do you think that's a little excessive <laughs> Drop your comments below. All right, this is M from the 33 Secrets signing out here with the Lamborghini. Yes, it's my Lambo. Go to Matt Cross Official, my IG. See the entire process of me purchasing this vehicle. It took about two months to close, and the same guy who delivered my DeLorean also delivered my Lamborghini. TJ at Florida Exotic Transport. If you ever need to transport a muscle car, exotic car. He's your man. So, very excited about this vehicle. It's uh, actually a pretty rare find. It's Rossifesto Red, which is one of the rarest colors for Lamborghini. It's a $14,880 option, believe it or not. I was on a hunt for one for over two years, just like I was my DeLorean. Finally found one. It's got super low miles, 11K, not bad. And we're going to be featuring this car a lot more here on the channel for many years to come. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Woo. Oh my gosh, take a look at this. It hasn't dried yet, but I'm still putting this on there. It's my IG tag. But as always, gentlemen, make sure you smash that like button. Smash that like button below. Do it for the Lamborghini and the DeLorean. I still have it, by the way. I'm not selling the DeLorean. I'll probably keep this car for a little bit but uh, DeLorean is going to stay. So uh, we'll get the DeLorean back on here pretty soon, but uh, enjoy the Lamborghini. And again, smash the like button, smash that subscribe button as well. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill content that I'm teaching you even further, best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there into the world and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world now are out there approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making it happen every single week. And I want you to become one of us. I want you to join us. And right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me in mastery so take advantage of it it's the best way to support my work if you love what i'm doing here if you love what i'm teaching you here and you feel like i've added value to your life this is the best way to pay me back get into my monthly online coaching program seven months of mastery all you need to do is click that link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now it just takes two seconds so do that now and i'll see you in my next coaching video i'm out with the Lambo. Till next time. Woo. So sweet.